on Letterman. Then again, you might want to check your prescriptions. He may have not have been on these shows, but he did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Give it up for Ron Humphrey! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Zach. That man is star for entertainment. He once traveled all the way up to Saginaw, Michigan to watch me do a fantasy football draft. Ooh. Speaking of travel, how many people around here like to travel to the United States? Yeah, I've traveled plenty of times around the United States, and what I've learned is don't leave Michigan. What? First thing you have to deal with when you leave Michigan, you have to deal with Ohio. 300 miles of pure Michigan hatred. It's driving through Ohio on my way to Florida once, got pulled over. Cop comes sauntering up to me. So, son, you know what the speed limit is here in Ohio? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's 65. Do you know how fast you were going here in Ohio? Uh, 65? I clocked you at 66. <laughs> Quick, do you move from Michigan? Uh, uh, I panic. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Do I say state? That's too close, possibly. Uh, no, actually, I move for Indiana. It's like, okay. I'll let you off with a warning then. But don't come driving through here during basketball season. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, fly. Fly. Skip Ohio completely and just fly out of here. I tried that once. I flew all the way to San Francisco. Got myself a four-star hotel in the middle of the city. Now, I've traveled around Michigan. I've visited some four-star hotels around Michigan. What you get in Michigan when you stay at a four-star hotel, you get a king-size bed. You get a jacuzzi in the suite. You get a little mint on your pillow. San Francisco four stars means you get a twin bed, you get a shower stall, and you get a gear deli candy bar. I'm just at least they splurge for the candy. I don't care how beautiful the lobby is, when you have to share a bathroom with the people next door, you can't call the four-star hotel, okay? I figured I'd do it up in San Francisco. I'd go visit the hotel's restaurant, you know, posh restaurant down there for breakfast after I got up. Come in, sit down, get the menu, look at it, you know. I've eaten a lot of different things for breakfast. I know what should be on a breakfast menu. You'd think I'd recognize something on this menu. Not a single thing on there did I recognize. There was one thing that was close. Something called a sausage and fennel omelet. I know what an omelet is. I've made some myself. I know what sausage is. Believe me, I know what sausage is. You can tell right here. What the heck is fennel? I thought I'd risk it. I ordered it. Comes out. Waiter delivers it. There are green leaves in my omelet. <laughs> I don't even like green peppers in my omelet. I don't know what the green leaves are. Somebody, in the, I called the waiter over. Waiter, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There are green leaves in my omelet. The chefs are shaking trees into my omelet. <laughs> Waiter's like, oh no, no, that's fennel. <laughs> like, that's fennel? I'm not eating here. So I left. I went on down to the Denny's, local Denny's. No, you think that'd be normal. I've been to many Denny's here in Michigan. They're wonderful. They have my favorite breakfast, Moons Over My Hand. I opened up the menu there, same one I got at the restaurant at the hotel. I flew out of San Francisco that day, came back to Michigan, spent my rest of my vacation there. So now you're thinking, there's another way out of Michigan, right? You can drive through Indiana. Well, I have one word to say for that. Gary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've been through that way too. I tried it once. I was on my way to Texas. Stopped at a little hotel in Little Rock, Arkansas on the way for the night. You know what? I didn't want to risk that four-star treatment I got in San Francisco, so I picked the days in. Got there, I was gonna meet my friend in Texas at five o'clock, which means I had about Eight hours of drive time left to go. So I got unpacked and 
went to bed, woke up the next morning, sun shining, birds are chirping, looked around, no clock in the room. I have no idea what time it is, but I'm thinking I'm late. So I get up, I quickly shower, I pack everything, I get it all down into the car, I get it all done, walk up to the counter, turn in my keys. It is there that I notice a clock. 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> that means I'm gonna get to Texas about three hours too early. So I thought to myself, what am I gonna do? I took that trip, I drove, I'm like, I'll stop at some sites on the way. Stopped at a couple here and there, and did the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. I got to pee in the birthplace of President Clinton. <laughs> Hope Arkansas, if any of you want to go there. Now, join me. Travel Michigan. Keep our dollars here. We have some wonderful sites here in Michigan. We have the Sleeping Bear Dunes. We have Taquamanin Falls. We have Detroit. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have three of that. Yeah. We have some of the beautiful rest areas, including a welcome center in Clare, Michigan. Dead center of the state. <laughs> Apparently we don't want anybody here until they get to the middle. We want to make sure they don't leave right away. So that's really all for me. I just want to let you know, Travel Michigan, join me in this.